<laughs> good morning, good morning, it's Sarah. Today's video will be the energy forecast for January 24th, 2022. This is, of course, my take on the energy and the cards, and because of that, it won't resonate with everyone, and that's okay. If it doesn't resonate with you, no worries, just pass it on by, and I do hope you find what you're looking for. Today, I'll be using the full old school Rider Waite deck. <laughs> and I'm going to draw one card to tap into the energies for Monday the 24th. All the cards are out on my table, so let me pick one really quickly. Ah, nice, nice. The Six of Pentacles. Pentacles always cover money and wealth, so we're off to a good start, aren't we? And oops, I forgot to turn off my fountain, so that water dripping sound in the background is what you're hearing is my fountain. Let me turn it off now. Be right back. Okay, I was telling you about all your good fortune for the day, wasn't I? This card itself represents money, wealth, as well as gifts, charity, and clarity around charity giving and donations. It's a little bit more complicated, I think. It's a card about kindness and generosity, but it's also about not self-sabotaging yourself by overgiving. Today, someone in your life may be very generous and bless you with a gift. Nice. It could be monetary or it could be a gift of their time and wisdom. Show your appreciation and accept this gift with gratitude. And if you're doing well, this is also a great day for you to donate to charities and help others. But as I said, there's a note of caution with this. So while this card does represent charity, it's done with fairness and clarity so that you don't end up overgiving or giving perhaps to a shady organization. See the scales? This isn't the day to self-sabotage by giving away your rent money or wasting your most valuable asset, which is of course your time. For instance, today isn't a day to give your unsolicited time or resources to someone that will either ignore you or waste the resources. Find someone or some organization that will appreciate and respect the gift. So rather than say giving to the National Cancer Society, instead perhaps help someone who is actually struggling with cancer. For instance, run an errand for them, take them to a doctor's appointment, or find some way of assisting them personally. And for my viewers who aren't in America, don't even get me started about how cancer patients suffer in America. I am climbing off my soap box now and getting back to the card. This card also signals it's time to think about how you personally can make your community better. How can you help your fellow man? This doesn't always mean donating money. I mean, it could, but it can also be about showing up and volunteering. You could volunteer at a local animal shelter, an old folks home. You could adopt a fireman or a law enforcement officer, or you could be involved in any number of worthy causes. Most local community charities are always looking for volunteers or people to sit on the board or bring their own expertise forward to help the charity. There are many different ways that you can get involved, but the main thing is rather than us complaining about the situation, we need to get involved and we need to do what we can to help others. We're all in this together. So the lesson for today will be about giving, but not overgiving, finding that balance and making sure that what you do give, whether it's time, materials, money, whatever it is, is used correctly. If you're not currently in a place to donate, don't worry. Don't worry at all. This card signals that will be changing soon. Your money situation will improve shortly and you can expect more funds to show up very soon. So overall, a very good day for you. And also by thinking about your community, you'll be tapping into the energy of Aquarius season, which will give it an extra push. If you haven't already watched that video, I'll link it up here. For more info on this dynamic and globally minded sign, yes, we're still in Mercury retrograde, but we can still help others. And even if it's just cleaning out your closet and donating good usable clothes to a shelter, you can make a difference. And before I end this video, I wanted to give you an update that I'm just about done with the Chinese astrology forecast for February or the first month of the tiger year. And I'm about to dive back into Western astrology. So if you haven't already, be sure and subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified of all the new videos. Thank you so much for watching and being a part of the Serenity family. Stay tuned for the next video. Reiki blessings. Bye-bye.